Hello book lovelies and welcome back to another happy little book milk video. It has been a while, I just looked at the channel and I was like it's been two months since I've posted anything and I am really sorry because I actually have a ton of videos lined up for you guys. I have my Ashley Poston interview and some of the um, like Q&A that she did with Kirsten White. I've got the Tara Muffy um, Q&A as well and some other little video about that. I've got so many videos and I just have not had time to edit them or put them up. So be expecting like a ton of videos to be coming very, very soon. Um, this one's kind of a quickie. Well, I hope it's going to be a quickie, um, but just something to kind of share with you guys. I haven't done a book haul in a very long time, despite the fact that I clearly have a lot of books. Um, I recently did a little road trip, a very quick road trip up to Sacramento, which is in Northern California, and they have a half price books up there. And I've heard everybody talking about this bookstore before. So I quickly looked it up, realized we didn't have one down here in Southern California, and that would be the closest one. So of course, when I went up there, I was going to take the opportunity to check it out. It is beautiful. I'll insert a picture right now. It's so amazing. It is just this huge place of books. Gorgeous, gorgeous books. And I bought a lot of books. <laughs> I bought four bags of books. So I'm not going to go through like what all the books are. Some of them are books that I bought just because I wanted hardcovers to complete like collections and things on my shelves. Others are books I bought just because it isn't cool. I'm going to go through very quickly. Um, but this is my list of books. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Because I am. Let's go. So right as I was getting to the good part, which was a book haul, my battery is dead on my camera. <laughs> but we're back guys, we're back. And I also apologize because I just looked at the intro. It is really weird lighting in here and that's simply because it's actually overcast outside right now. So I've got sun and I've got natural light. But I don't have like the best light and I didn't particularly want to like hook up my studio lights. So I'm sorry guys, I know it's not perfect but I hope it works. So let's get on the book haul. Um, so we're actually starting with the smallest bag first, and I want to show you the bag. Ah, it says Bibliomaniac on the front here. I hope you guys can see it. Let me back up a little bit. Um, it says, one who possesses an extraordinary passion for books, one who loves the smell of ink, paper, and glue, and the rustling sound of a turning page, one who possesses a strong willingness to help others. Origin 1972 Half Price Books. So this is a cute little reusable tote bag. I got two of these actually. Um, maybe someday when I do a giveaway, I'll have to give away. Um, so in here there are actually four books. I'm going to try to figure out how to do this because I'm also just going to get awkward. Um, the first one I got is a paperback called Erased by Jennifer Rush. This little guy here. Um, it was only $4.99 guys. But it sounds really cool. It says they thought they had escaped. They were wrong. So this definitely sounds like an awesome book. Um, the next one that I got is Falling Into Place by Amy Zhang. Nice hardcover, $8.99. Um, it sounds super cute. Cute little contemporary book. I think I've seen this on Bookstagram before, so I'm super stoked about that. The other one that I got is a brand new release, so it wasn't quite as inexpensive, but my good friend Bryant. Hi Bryant! <laughs> He's been on my case to read this book now for, I don't know, since it came out, which was in like early March, so probably about a month now. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe. I wasn't real sure, but this one's for you, Bryant. I got this book right here. Oh, it was on sale. Would you look at that? It would help if I looked at the price tag. Um, it's Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiyami. Yemi? Adiyami? Um, it was only $15.19, which is a pretty good deal for a new release. So I got this beauty. And let me move on to the next bag. Ooh. So this next bag is also a cute little reusable bag. It's this half price books and it's like a little composition book for those of us that are writers. It's really heavy. I got a really good workout in carrying all this stuff, let me tell you. So I got this really cute pretty uh, bookmark to add to my bookmark collection. It's got a J for Jennifer. It's just so pretty. I had to get it. Put it over there. Okay. And then free little bookmarks in there. Oh, this is a very challenging book haul, I'm going to tell you right now. This one's called The Immortals by Jordana Max Brodsky. Brodsky. It was $7.99 for a paperback. Originally, this one was priced at $25. Um, I really hope it's good. It sounds like it could be good. 
we'll find out. <laughs> um, but for that price, who can say no? Um, and then, so as some of you probably saw on my, uh, my bookstagram, I started reading The Maze Runner finally, and I'm really loving it. So they had the other books there as well. This one was $4.99. This is The Scorch Trials. Yeah, this is like working the muscles here. Um, I got The Kill Order. That was pretty cool. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this one I actually did not get at Half Price Books. I got this one when I went with my bestie, Shannon, to Barnes & Noble because every time we get together, she lives up north, I live in Southern California, every time we get together we go to Barnes & Noble and we hang out. That is just what we do because that is what best friends should do. Um, so I got this one, Midnight Thief by Livia Blackburn. Um, sounds really cool about a female assassin. Totally on my level. Ugh. This one I also got at Barnes, um, The Evaporation of Shiloh, or Re Reclaiming, first one was The Evaporation, The Reclaiming of Shiloh Snow by Mary Webber. I love The Evaporation of Sophie Snow, so I had to get the, the sequel because it's so good, guys. Then, no one wants to see the receipt. Um, I got Eleanor and Perk by Ra Rainbow Raoul. Raoul, um, it was only $5.99. I've never read it, but I've heard really good things about it, so I thought, why not? Uh, here is The Death Cure, first part of the Maze Runner series. Again, that one was like $4.99 too. Um, oh, then I found this pretty cover for City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I have seen these covers on Bookstagram like crazy and I'm obsessed with them and I can never seem to find them anywhere. But I found one, just one. Um, it was only $4.99 so definitely had to pick that up. And then... How long do you think I'm going to go through this book haul without dropping all these books? Let's see. <laughs> then I picked up this one, Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane. Um, it's a novel of Romeo and Juliet, so it actually follows uh, his cousin. I forget which cousin it was. One of his cousins, but I love Romeo and Juliet, so this one sounded pretty, pretty cool. Let's see. Woo, my arms are sore, guys. Okay, third bag of books. This one's super cute. It actually looks like a bookshelf um, all around. So I was definitely like obsessed with this bag here. Whew. Let's take a moment. This is that's hard work. Um, <laughs> so this one is called Starters by Lisa Price. Um, $6.99 for this beautiful little book here. Um, Again, they're such good deals. Such good deals. I'm going to start putting them over there because this one's a hefty bag. And then ooh, I started reading um, the Shiva series not long ago by Maggie C. Fodder because she's one of my favorite authors. So I got Forever in that series in hardcover. And then I got Linga by Maggie C. Fodder. Again, these were only $8.99 guys for hardcovers, which is really not bad. And then I got ee, a co oh, the hardcover copy of A Court of Thorns and Roses because I only have it so far in paperback and I wanted all of my copies to be in hardcover. So I got this beauty, $9.49 for this one. And then, whew, this is hefty. I got the Hunger Games trilogy box set with all the hardcovers in it because all of mine were like a mishmash of paperbacks. My first Hunger Games book actually came from Straya, so it is not consistent with the American versions. And then when I came back to America and I picked up the other three books, or the other two books, I think they were like the metallic covers, and I have like this, they're just a really weird array, so I wanted them all to look beautiful and nice. So I got this, $19.99 for the whole set, which is not bad, guys, not bad. And lastly, woo! Another bibliomaniac book, uh, book bag. Last full book, or thing of books. Um, I got this other little bookmark. Hope you guys can see that. It's got all the cute books on it. It's just very vintagey and cute. Um, and it says like, laugh loud, play hard, have hope, be strong, uh, live in the moment, smile often, dream big. I know that you are loved. Never ever give up. So it's got like these inspirational things on books, which you just can't go wrong with. So, Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. 
Um, I've again heard a lot of great things about this, so I had to pick that one up. Seven ninety nine, guys. Seven ninety nine. I've also heard a lot of great things about these by Lonnie Taylor, Smoke and or Daughter of Smoke and Bones. So I got this one, four ninety nine. Uh, the Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Um, the Cruel Prince was actually the first book I'd ever officially read by Holly Black, and I really did enjoy it. So I'm hoping these will be really good too. Um, oh, we'll save those for a minute. Hold on. And then I got Dreams of Gold of Gods and Monsters. I can read clearly. Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lonnie Taylor as well. Got the whole set here, guys. <laughs> the whole set. Then I got Through the Dark by Alexandra Bracken. So as you guys know, because you probably follow me on Instagram, if you don't, self, selfish, shameless plug. Again, cannot read, cannot speak. That's what happens when you don't sleep. <laughs> um, shameless plug, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I do post tons of bookish stuff. Um, and if you guys want to, you can also follow the Pages We Love, which is a phenomenal fan, multi-fandom account. I do take pictures periodically for them. So if you guys want to see some cool stuff over there, head over. It's run by um, JD Netto, and it was originally Sasha, Allsberg, Sasha Allsberg's account. So there's a whole team of people behind it that are phenomenal bookstagrammers, phenomenal authors, just awesome people. Highly recommend you check it out. So I got this um, because I am trying to complete my Darkest Minds collection in hardcover because I only have paperbacks. I do have um, In the Afterlight in hardcover, not got this beauty. It was only $8.99. I'm telling you guys, this was such a steal. Such a steal. Ugh. This beautiful book is called Fragile Eternity by Melissa Murr. Just take a look at that cover, guys. Look, look at the back. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a sequel to Wickedly Lovely, but it kind of sounds like you could read it without, so I'll let you know. And then, here is the other book. It was only in hardcover, but it's okay. I, I can live. I can live when all my books are not all paperback or all hardcover. I can live momentarily <laughs> with it. Eventually, they'll all catch up. Uh, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lonnie Taylor. These books are just so pretty. Like, these covers. Mmm. So pretty. Whew. That was a close one. And then, this one should not surprise you at all. I got Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. Um, because I love her. I love her so much. She is the mother of Bay, Warna. <laughs> so this is beautiful cover. $8.99 for that one. And last but not least. Woo! I got Witchwood by Tahara Mafi, um, which is the sequel to Furthermore, and it is so pretty. Like, these covers are just to die for. Um, this one was only $14.39, considering that it was a new release. So again, good on you, half price books. So guys, that was probably the quickest book haul we've ever done. <laughs> I think. It might be. It just might be. And now the question is... Where do we put all of these books? Because even though I've got bookshelves back here, ones you can't see, they're pretty full. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna be spending my time trying to figure out homes for all these books. Um, but I am super stoked, guys. If you have a half price books near you or even a little like near you, highly recommend visiting because it is so cool. It is it's amazing. And you can actually sell books. So if for any reason you decide to do a book unhaul you can go sell them back there um they're doing a thing in the month of april which is right now where if you bring in children's books that you don't want they are actually going to be donating them to hospitals and children's organizations and kids in need so they've got some really cool stuff going on but it is a magical place it is magical it's just magical so i had an amazing time there as you can see um this is all thanks to my mom for helping me get all these books because we did get them if you guys were wondering um I'm not trying to brag or anything like that but total for all these books the first round was 140 dollars for all the books and the second one was um i think around like 80 90 dollars which is not bad because i went to barnes <laughs> as you can see because there were a couple in there from barnes i actually want maze no at Barnes, I bought, yeah, I bought Maze Runner, and I bought those two books in the haul, and then I also bought a journal for my novels that I'm working on. Um, all four of those books were, like, 50 bucks. So, getting all of these books for that amount of money, you really can't beat that. It was a really, really good deal. So, I highly recommend you guys go if you're looking for a way to get books, but not spend a ton of money on books. Highly recommend it. 
and supporting like independent bookstores, supporting smaller bookstores, always the best way to go. I mean, Barnes is Barnes. It's not that I hate Barnes. I never want to like sound like I do, although we have not always been friends because they did not have her stole me <laughs> the day that it came out, but that's neither here nor there. Water under the bridge. But, um, you know, they are a mass marketed bookstore. They are going to sell things at full price they are just going to be there to make money where places like mysterious galaxy bookstore that i love going half price books some of the independent um, used bookstores all these places are so amazing they are run by people that truly truly love books and care about them like we do and it's just a great place to be and it's a great way to support books and to keep letting the world know that we want more and that we really do love these things so highly recommend that you guys check them out spend some time there find them because if you just look around your neighborhood i guarantee you'll find a ton of stuff go to libraries there's stuff everywhere um i'm going to be posting a video soon of a vlog i did with my dad where we went to the library and bought like some used books there then we also went to this really cute used bookstore not far from here um and bought some books there so i will be filling you guys in very soon on those adventures um because i always like to give you guys ways to make book buying and bookstagram a little bit more affordable because we all see people with like these massive shelves and we see them with all the new books and all the cool stuff and you're like <laughs> i have no money and that is my story guys i'm like dying half the time because i want to buy a million and one books but i don't have the money and it's very stressful and then you're like how do i keep up with all of this because you feel like you got to keep up these are great ways to do it because you're not spending a ton of money you're supporting some awesome awesome bookstores and you're getting some incredible books so just a little side tip guys but i hope you enjoy it again keep checking back because we have got a ton more videos coming some very exciting ones um yeah so keep checking back guys i will see you soon until next time happy reading book lovelies